You guys remember how Nokutan was a little bit delayed, it got uploaded on like Sunday because like it got leaked early because of fan subs. But then there's this whole controversy apparently with like official translations using machine AI translations, which turned out even worse. Let's see what Rev has to say. Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we've got a very interesting set of topics to go over. We're going to begin with some anime localizers reaping what they have sown. And then we're going to look at some censorship of anime and manga. And then Great. we're going to conclude with more Twitter users complaining about drawings. So let's begin right here. This guy, man, the amount of farming he does. He, like, it's crazy how his entire channel is basically a still frame of an insane tweet then he farms the shit out of it then he makes he gets so many views like he's a genius dude here with this absolute banger of an anime no called my dear friend nokutan that's right my dear friend no pun intended this is a premiering anime right now that a lot of people are talking about mm -hmm. because it is really just uh well what anime is it's a fucking gimmick dude nokutan like <laughs> Imagine this. Imagine a show like Days with My Stepsister where they're trying so hard to give a good story. It's such a deep, compelling story. It's like, no, we are not incest bait. We're going to provide an amazing, heart-touching story that millions of people will resonate to. And it's going to do so well. And then there's Nokotan, where it's just Shika, dear craziness. And it's even more popular. <laughs> like, my days with my stepsister is trying so fucking hard that Nokotan's like, Shiko no ko no ko no ko ko stun tan. And everyone's like, ah, dear, it's so big. I feel bad for days with my stepsister, man. It's all about, it's beautifully weird, okay? It's cute girls doing cute things. And then I would say that this is cute girls doing crack things, man. And there's deer. Basically putting cute girls doing cute things in a wacky environment. That is a recipe for success. And a lot of people compared this anime to Nichijou, and a lot of people say I should watch Nichijou. Please recommend it in the community poll after Nokota Man. And also, if you've heard the opening theme of this anime, you Goes know crazy. it's an absolute bop. Would definitely recommend checking out the song and the animes it's releasing. However, there has been some controversy reported uh -oh. by many users like this. So let's read this tweet. It says, really unfortunate for the international My Dear Friend Nokutan fans out there. It appears that the official English French, except ADN, which made their own subs, Based. and German subtitles of the show might have been translated by AI. So like, what is the point? Okay, the translations come to the licensor's rim out and are not Crunchyroll's work, so we can't shit on Crunchyroll for this, but it's like, what is the purpose of having official fucking, you know, ownership over this content and then give it such a half-assed translation. Because at the end of the day, corporations, all that matters is the bottom line. And if you can pay less people to provide accurate subs and instead get some sort of AI to translate it, maybe it's going to be 70% accurate enough and maybe most people won't care. But it just sucks how, like, it's a race to the bottom. And it's so poetic how people will now just watch the fan subs instead, right? They're like... Fuck the official release. Why are we doing this? Let's just pirate and just get the just get, get like fan subs because the fan sub at least gives a fuck and wants to give you know it's it's born from a place of love rather than trying to meet the bottom line like these corporations. The translations come from the licensor Remau and are not Crunchyroll's work. So basically, Remau L Crunchyroll eh? where it's currently premiering. While blaming these services justified as they could have had the option to create their own translation, we believe Remao should have been held accountable as well. They're the one who- But it's like, how are we going to hold them accountable? Right? People are still going to watch the show no matter what. The only way to damage a corporation is to hit where- hit the wallet, right? If there's like a movie, don't fucking watch the movie. If there's a video game, don't buy the video game. But it's like, what? Then we just don't watch Nokutan and, and to make a point? How did that work out for Jujutsu Kaisen? Remember Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2? Remember the whole MAPPA debacle back then? How many people, Rev included, myself included, were making videos and farming, you know, MAPPA, the shitty work conditions and how JJK is barely, barely meeting deadlines with like a skeleton crew. But people, most people... The vast majority of people, the consumers, don't give a fuck. They just care about the end product. They don't give a fuck about, you know, MAPPA, you know, putting the workers like that. In fact, 
If JJK starts to get hiatuses and stop because of the poor working conditions and they went on a strike, do you know what the most people will do? The common consumer will then blame the workers for going on strike and call them lazy without understanding what's going on. And the corporations will be protected from the hate. It's really fucked up situation. Who handles the international localization, subbing and dubbing and marketing of the show. Don't let this slide too. If we can direct the feedback more directly to the source, Remo can face the backlash and improve their stuff for the future. The subtitles could also be fixed on other services like Prime Video, YouTube, and okay. more, not just Crunchyroll. Now, what this tells me is that, yes, there was some sort of a third party involved with the translation here that came over to... Third party as in they fired everybody that was responsible for the subs before and had one guy just feed the Japanese dialogue into chat GPT and say translate. Crunchyroll first, right? It came from this remail. But Crunchyroll didn't proofread anything. They didn't check... Ah! Okay, I was like, all right, it's not a control L this time, but now that Rev says it, they should have checked. They should have checked. Check out any of these subtitles to make sure they are accurate. They just played them. So that's pretty interesting. But also the reaction to this post is very interesting and telling of the times. So you look here, this response says localizers go out of jobs. Fan subs are relevant again and can clean the translations. I see this as an absolute win based well localizers losing jobs sucks but if the localizers are the one that's you know trying to fucking make this a race to the bottom and you know have shitty ass translations to cut costs like i feel like fuck you why would the people choose to go with that instead of supporting you know pirates who actually give a fuck about the show and has true passion for it and are willing to give an accurate representation of what the show is trying to tell you when another user says the english subs are translated by ai I say good. Hmm. And this is the absolute state of anime and manga in the year 2024. It, I mean, that's a pretty fucking, it, it, there's not enough context, but I think that AI subs, there's a lot of potential. But if you're going to have moments like this where the AI is not good enough to miss all the important points and different puns in the wordplay that's being provided in Nokutan, then it's obviously an L translation. I'm sure one day in the future, 5-10 years from now, we will have technology so good that a problem like this won't happen. And maybe that's what this Twitter user is trying to say, but like, this is a pretty brain-dead take right now. People would rather have slop AI translations than the work of localizers. And again, if the AI translation was seamless and perfect, then I'm perfectly fine with AI subs. It's just that you provide, it's just the technology is not there and they're doing a half-assed job. So it's just like, fuck you. And honestly, I don't really blame them because people would rather take a chance on mistranslations provided by AI than having to deal with the political injections and stupid Zoomer language that these localizers are adding into their translation. For real, for real, bussin. Okay, and no, AI translations are not the peak they are not the perfect solution not yet the perfect solution to translations is having a proper translation done by a human but in i think the future will be like where a human will be using ai to translate to get the bulk of the work done then the human component will be some kind of parsing and reviewing to make sure all the proofreading is actually good enough yeah times where a translation is either just completely not available or the option is a woke localizer people would go with ai and that is not too surprising given the current climate we're in and people like Katrina here. So this is Katrina. an infamous localizer. She had a take on the situation uh -oh. saying this. Crunchyroll France appears to have used AI slash machine translation to translate my dear friend Nokutan, resulting in something completely incomprehensible for L. French fans. Whatever money they might have saved using MT instead of a human translator, hashtag human translator, they're likely to lose on lost subs. That's pretty base, is it not? And she's probably right about that. It's like, all right, you try to cut corners to save money by using AI subs, but it turns out the AI sub fucking sucked. And now people aren't even willing to like, you know, use official platforms like Crunchyroll to subscribe with money to watch that. Uh, well, assuming that what's on Crunchyroll was wrong and they could potentially lose money. Like, I think that's, that's pretty reasonable, right? So first of all, it's not Crunchyroll that's direct. It's Remano or whatever the other company was, right? ...making these translations. It's that third party, like I Renal? said. But here's the thing, okay? She's been trying to get this uh, hashtag human translator going 
But there's a reason why nobody feels sorry for people like Katrina, okay? Why? They are woke localizers. They've been doing... They're a woke localizer? What's a woke localizer? Because, like, I'm coming in... Because, like, what the fuck is a woke localizer? Is there problems with, like, localizers using, like, quote-unquote, woke language in subs? So right now, we have two sides. Two extreme sides. The AI side, they fucking suck. But then the woke localizers, human translators, also suck. Is that what's going on? Both extremes on different ends? Oh, sorry. Doing this for years. They've been injecting their nonsense into translations very smugly and mocking the anime and manga fans who are calling... So, instead of giving a proper, like, what should be faithful translation, they are willing to kind of, like, put their own interpretation and social ideology and being woke into the anime, you know, kind of just, like, to spin their own agenda and narrative when the anime never try to portray any of that. That's basically what Katrina's doing, huh? Pulling out these mistranslations, and now they're just reaping what they sow. Okay. People would rather go with the AI. And they would further add here... For fans wondering how much translation costs, in the current market, the highest paid translators make about $300 per 24-minute episode. Damn! Well, it doesn't mean $300 per 24 minutes. It means for that standard episode of 24-minute duration, you get $300. Now, how long does it take for that person to then translate it? Who knows? And then another question is, how many of those episodes are they quoted, right? It's not going to be an hourly fucking salary job, right? It's like a commission-based thing where it's just like, all right, finally have another request to translate and stuff like that. So this might not seem as good as you think. Multi-million dollar company Crunchyroll apparently thought that was too expensive. Well, yeah, they're trying to cut costs. And right now, given the current climate, you're not in demand. People are not complaining as much about AI as they should be. In a perfect world where translators are doing their job perfectly, people would be much more upset about stories like this. But because of the shabby work of localizers, like basically woke localizers are making it. It's it's easy for AI bros to dunk on you know people because of woke localizers like this. So now we're getting fucked from both ends, from the AI side that's trying to just like cut to the bottom, right? It's a race to the bottom. And then on the woke local other side, it's like you're not doing any good fucking thing for our side because now you're just trying to inject your own fucking narratives. Like, both sides suck. Like Katrina, people would rather see the AI than their work. And that is a very sad state of affairs. Womp and of womp. course, we've been talking about her for quite a bit. <laughs> you're blah. <laughs> it is what it is. Minute, And despite having a history of terrible... Okay, what does this say? What does this say? You guys probably can't see this because it's way too small. Uh, these are probably petitions to ban the phrase something from the collective Japanese consciousness. She's, she's probably going into kind of like... She's basically uh, projecting her own like ideology and what social justice is and stuff like that onto the anime world. And we're like, no, fuck off with that. Products and terrible work in the realm of anime and manga. She has landed another position. This time, 2.5D Ririsa. The, the better my dress of darling. Not really. I don't know. We watched the first episode. By the way, we're not going to be watching that anymore because we're trying to be as careful as we can about, you know, uh, fan service stuff right now. But Katrina's localizing 2.5D seduction. First episode was okay, though, was it not? And also, I wonder how mad people will be because, like, I remember the VTuber anime. I hear it was very, very Coomer bait where there was, like, a VTuber that was saying shit like, oh, it's fine to rub one out or other stuff like that. But Katrina probably would never, you know, translate it like that, right? With 2.5D seduction. She is apparently the localizer for this anime wah, that's wah. coming out through High Dive. And for those who don't know this series, it's basically, like, my dress-up darling, but, like... Better? No, it's not. Eh, no, I... Who knows? We only watched one episode of it. I, the main character... <laughs> Lucky ass motherfucker. Gojo at least, like, had a whole backstory of trauma and, like, a good story of Kitakawa Marin, like, pulling out of the shell through this, you know, unorthodox hobby. But, <laughs> okay, but this one is like... I hate 3D girls! Only 2D! And then she showed up, and now she's just cameraman, anyways. Like, way more etchy and less of a progressive story, right? It, it's just like a crazy lewd cosplay type show but this uh you know keeping the the etchy themes in mind in a second but first 
it is being reported that yeah. even in the trailer, yeah. even in the trailer they fucked for it this up. upcoming anime, actually, I believe the first episodes come out, they've already botched some of the translations. Petition to get Katrina fired! Why did, yeah, why does she keep getting this shit? Well, no, 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 sorry. Why she can't keep getting anime to local life? She's the problem with them? Here's the thing. She's intentionally, for some reason, she has the authority to pick whatever fucking anime to localize. I don't know how the industry works there. But she's clearly picking these, you know, anime that's very, like, Coomer bait, right? Fan service, because she has, like, a personal vendetta against it. So it makes sense on why she's picking these animes and then choosing to, you know, because she has a problem with it, right? But my question is, like, why does she have the power to do this shit? Why is she the top dog in the industry like this? You can see it's like a typical Katrina type work here. You have this whole wall of text describing various things, and it's all just muddied down to my wah, waifu. Wah. That's it. I mean, it might wah, be nitpicky wah. things, but it's very noticeable. And when people like Katrina have a track record for these things, people won't even let it slide in the trailer of this anime. And of course, other people are showing. That was a crazy scene when she was looking back, bro. The looking back moment was insane. Screenshots like this, like Chibi Reviews, reporting that this anime is also censored, which is absolutely wild. So I can't really show it on YouTube without censoring the yeah, whole thing anyways. Yeah. But basically in the manga, this version of this scene right here, yeah. you can see all Everything. the goods. Okay? Everything. It's, it's the full shot, right? <laughs> as she's bent over. And I might have to search that on my own time later. And always people will complain, oh, Rev, what's the big deal? Oh, get over it. Well, if it's not such... Um, so here's the thing, right? Here is the thing about, oh, Rev, bro, you're such a coomer. You know, we just do that shit on your own time. Who cares if they censor the ass? And while there is some partial truth on... Like, does it really matter? It's a girl's ass not being completely shown in an anime, right? Go watch Henta. I get that part, but that's not the point. The point of this is, it sets a precedence. You know what that means? It means that if people are willing to censor this shit, then what else are they willing to censor, right? Give an inch and they'll take a mile. It's not about not being able to see the goods here. It's about what this means for the future as people see that, oh, this censorship is allowed. Does that mean we're going to censor more and more? That's what Rev is trying to prevent and talk about, right? It's all about a precedence. Once you set this as an example, then other people will take this and be like, it's okay to censor more. It's not about the ass. It's about the principle such a big deal then why are you censoring it it's also outrageous to censor stuff like this fan service in a etchy series like this that is riddled with fan service including in this episode there are many other moments that are filled with very very lewd scenes but remember when he grabbed her when she fell this for some reason is censored it's very bizarre and of course just like any other situation where people point out fan service being censored you have these obnoxious comments this person saying it. And again, just watch Prawn, bro. I get it. Like, I, I, but that's such a, that's such a level one monkey take. Cause like, while there is partial truth and yeah, just stop being horny. I get it. It's not about that though. It's never been about that. It's about the precedence that it sets. At this point, just watch porn, bro. Uh, yeah, ridiculous comment. And if you can't tell the difference between fan service in an anime and hardcore poontang, <laughs> That's something you need to work on, buddy. But of course, uh, in the right. conversations of censorship, we're going to move over to... Oh, we got Zenless Zone Zero news. What's going on here, Nicole's titties? Zenless Zone Zero. Another oh Poyiverse product right here. And there's been multiple acts of censorship done to the character Nicole. They yeah. nerfed her physics and her uh, wah, boss wah. multiple times at this point. And this user is reporting what they believe is more censorship of this character. And boy, howdy, did this person get dunked on. You can see 78 likes and yeah. well over 100 quotes. People clowning on them. All the replies are negative. Let's look at this. Let's look at the replies of someone reporting censorship of a game that was likely under the direction or the influence of the Chinese government. CCP! Here's just a random snippet, right? Nerf shots are so much hotter. I don't see the problem. There's barely any difference, dog. And this person says they have the mindset of someone who commits a word that starts with R and rhymes with vape. 
Well, you know, it's the Twitter section. Like, these are mentally ill children or grown ass adults. Like, there's no reason trying to find reason here, right? They're, they're all fucking insane here. This person's saying that basically uh, they're gay and complaining about this is their cover up what? for that. That is what? gigantic projection. How do you by even the way. jump this to that says, conclusion? Maybe go look at real women instead. Based, kind of. And this person <laughs> says non for And then this person uh, posts a picture of someone. Putting a it's noose around proud. their neck, obviously, oh, Jesus. Uh, encouraging the user to do something like that, which is an ins Not a good look. That's why I stay the fuck away from Twitter, bro. It's a cesspool. There's no point trying to reason with people on Twitter said, bro. It's, it's, it's a mental illness. Don't bother. Insane reaction to someone pointing out censorship that, that's happening. And as this user points out, there is something deeply off about people attacking this user who's pointing out censorship while cheering on what is likely the product or the influence or the direct orders of the Chinese government who is- This is not a conspiracy, straight up, like, did you know that the CCP tried to, like, literally ban femboys? Like, China at one point, like, a couple of years ago, maybe last year, they're like, you, yo, we need to, like, we cannot have these dudes be feminine anymore. We need more alpha giga chats. No more femboys. Stop feminine. Like, like, stop it, right? Like, I'm surprised how Genshin still- and then you look at Genshin Impact, and the most like masculine dude is like the, <laughs> the biggest fucking fanboy. But like, uh, CCP definitely there is you know censorship of what kind of content is shown to the the vast you know the young impressionable people in China. So like this, I don't think is actually the conspiracy. I think there is definitely some truth in this. Was censoring this game. We've seen it happen a million times with Hoyoverse related games. Okay. Yep. The government clearly has an impact on how they deliver yeah. these characters, and Zenla Zone Zero is definitely- I mean, remember the Chinese censorship of making blood red color to white color? Because, like, red is- blood is too graphic, right? So instead, let's just have this girl that's, like, on the floor with blood coming out everywhere. Instead of being red, let's just fill her with white fluids. It's like... You thought that was a good idea! You, you, you try, you try to be so fucking woke that you came out the other fucking end. Now it looks like hentai. Definitely censored characters. Like it's not up for debate. It's happened multiple times. So why is this user getting hit so hard by these people on Twitter? Well, I think it's just Twitter in general, how they behave, but also the fact this is Hoyoverse and a lot of people from Genshin Impact are coming over. And you know, they're ready to I cheer on credits. the Chinese government as long as it's owning the people they don't like on Twitter. But Genshin Impact... <laughs> is like the ground zero for that type of stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, a company that got really popular that is from China and attracted a lot of Zoomers on Twitter and other social media spots. And we see com Mint pickers! Why are you white? Comments like this still to this day in 2024 about Genshin. And this person says, Genshin, I thought we were promised the land of the dragons with this caption saying, why are you white? Man, with the Natland release, I've already been seeing tweets. I've already been seeing random posts on Reddit about the controversy surrounding Natland because is Natland supposed to represent Africa? I mean, even in Sumeru, right? A desert nation, right? Perf maybe you're supposed to be representing somewhere in the Middle East, right? The skin tone there is a lot darker, but all the waifus are light skinned. Why? Because it's simple numbers. It's not that Hoyoverse is racist, but they realize that light skin tone waifus sell better than dark skin tone rife waifus. That's why they're like, quote unquote, whitewashing all of these characters. So like, even in that land, they're like, oh my God, there's not a single dark skin character. I don't think it's Hoyoverse being racist. No, I think that Hoyoverse cares a lot about money, just like any corporation. And they're simply just following statistics and seeing light skin waifus, more money. It's just as simple as that. It's with over 20,000 likes. Yes, demanding certain races be in a game that is controlled by the Chinese government. Uh, good luck with that one. But you know what? Sometimes people actually deliver on these promises, right? Creating more... Uh, uh, darker characters, and here's an example of that. This person <laughs> made fan art of Lukua nice. from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid with darker skin. Okay. How do people react to this one? This fan art would be awesome if the character wasn't a predator. <laughs> Is it because Kana? It's because there's a lolly dragon in that show, right? <laughs> That's why they're saying this, right? They're up 28,000 likes. <laughs> well, they tried, but anyways. <sighs> Or never the the, the the topic of lollies and anime and 
My here here's the thing, right? Whenever there's discussions around lollies and stuff, right? I always go back to this, right? I once I once had this example of like, okay, it's a it's, it's a lollicon. Yes, I'd say so. You're proud to be a lollicon, and you're like, yeah, it's a drawing. And then I say, well, what is it a drawing of? And then they have to describe what the drawing of, right? Then that becomes a little bit uncomfortable. But the other example that I had in mind was, I don't think, and I know actually that. Not every lollicon is a pedophile, right? That is the truth. But I do believe that every pedophile is a lollicon. I think that is a definitive fact. I will die on that fucking hill. That's gonna do it for this video. Uh, there was a lot to go over today, so I appreciate you guys hanging in there as always. Thank you, Rev. Go give my man like on his channel sub if you haven't i was just interested in the nokota news and the whole ai stuff i guess we can't really shit on crunchyroll too much because you know it was rima or this other company that did it but hey crunchyroll didn't fucking proofread so they get to take the all on that